Twister sister. Welcome back to another free balloon animal tutorial. I'm a day late this week because we were camping yesterday, having a blast. Um, but I've got a new free tutorial for you guys today. So today is International Kissing Day. Do with that information what you want. Um, but I thought this would be a great time to bring out a design that I came up with last year, but I have not shared yet. And it's actually two kissing balloon dogs. It's super duper cute and super easy. This would also be a great one to add to your Valentine's menus whenever that holiday comes back around. We're only gonna need three balloons for this design. So I've got, I'm going, keeping it traditional. I've got a light pink 260 and also a light blue 260. I've inflated both about the same amount with about a four inch tail and I've tied them together. I also have um, a fuchsia, because it's my favorite color, uh, 260 that I fully inflated, but I left about a half an inch tail or so and let a good amount of air out of this balloon before you tie it off. And we're gonna tie the ends together and letting some air out will allow us to shape this balloon into a nice little heart design. Okay, so let's work on our dogs first. So I've got uh, my pink and blue tied together. We're just gonna pick one whichever one we wanna do first. And I'm just gonna make basic one balloon dogs, okay? So another simple one, which is easy and fast, but sometimes those classic designs are just the best, right? So I've got three bubbles that I've twisted together to make the head and the two ears. We're gonna do a small round bubble, two bubbles for the legs, so however long you want his legs to be. One and two. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back for a body bubble. All right, and then two more legs. So one, and what I like to do on this design, you don't have to, I'll show you a trick as we get to a later step. Um, but what I like to do to save time for me is to take the remaining bit of my balloon here and I'm gonna take it through the front legs. So open up those front legs and just pull it through right to that last twist that we made okay and lock it down in there and then we're just gonna take the remaining part back up so we're gonna make another leg the same size as this one so twist that off and then to lock this in here you don't need to like wrap the tail through the body or anything you're just gonna switch these two bubbles and that'll lock this in here all right and now if you've done everything just so, you'll have enough balloon left to make a little poodle tail, which is always fun and super cute. Okay, so now we've got our pink balloon dog just kissing a 260. We can't have that, so we need to make her a partner. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. If you wanna make one slightly bigger than the other, maybe longer ears or longer legs, you can do that but you don't have to. They can both be exactly the same and it still looks super cute. So I'm gonna do those two front legs and do our little body bubble, two back legs. And I'm gonna leave it, um, I'm not gonna pull this through so that you guys can see in the next step what I was talking about earlier. You can just make a regular balloon dog that's standing like this, and then I'll show you how to pull the legs together using another method if you don't like sliding balloons through other balloons, that's fine. We'll just give him a little poodle tail here. So now we've got our two kissing balloon dogs, but we've got to really like bring this all together with something, and so for that, we are going to get our fuchsia. And this is gonna be made into a heart. You could use red or any color you want to for this whole thing. Um, but let's go ahead and shape this into a heart first. So I'm gonna hold on to the knot that's down here at the bottom and find the midpoint. I'm gonna get that midpoint and bring it down whoop, like this. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it basically all the way down to where it's touching those nozzles or the knot. And just go ahead and squeeze that middle point right there. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. This is why we wanted our balloon to be nice and soft and squishy. All right, once you've got that squeezed pretty well, then we're gonna start shaping these outer curved portions of the heart. So just kind of squeeze and move your hand down the side. And then I also like to bring the ends here together a little bit and squeeze those. Okay, and then one more time, 
with our middle part. There we go. So you have a, just a nice little easy heart. And when you tie this off, hopefully you left yourself a nice long tail on the nozzle. Just get in the habit of that every time you tie a balloon, a 260. Um, just leave yourself a long enough nozzle that you'll be able to do something with it if you need to. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our balloon dogs so that they're gonna be on either side of the heart and they'll be kissing right in the middle of the heart. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so let's do our blue dog first. This is the one that's standing and we want him to kind of be sitting like this. And so what I'm gonna do is use that nozzle that I have and we're just gonna pull it through his legs, his front legs first, pull it nice and tight. And then same thing, we're gonna hook that around the back legs as well. All right, so those are hooked. Now we wanna hook in the other balloon dog. So we're just gonna bring her up here. Got that nozzle in my hand and we're just gonna shoot this uh, through her legs as well. And then wrap it up and hide it kind of in the middle of one of those balloon dog's legs. All right, and we're just gonna adjust everything this so that your heart is right in the middle of their legs and it's standing up and it looks like they are sitting down just celebrating international kissing day right <laughs> and then to clean this up you can cut off the long nozzles up by their nose because those do look kind of silly sticking out like that and there you have it kissing balloon dogs for international kissing day or valentine's day this would also be a great design to put on top of a wand so spiral some 260s together and plop these right on top and that way people have something easy to hold on to and then it looks like a very valuable uh, design but it was actually quite simple and easy for you to make so this is one of those classic designs but we've added a little bit more made it a little more special more perceived value um, and so I think this will be one that your customers will really enjoy and like having as an option on your balloon menus speaking of which an easy way to let your customers know you can make this is to have a balloon menu in the first place if you've never worked with a balloon menu I've got a free starter menu in the uh, description below this video that you can pick up download it for free print it off try it out at your next busy line work event it's full of great starter twisting balloons so nothing too difficult that you probably won't know how to make um, and if you already love working with balloon menus, like most people who have tried it do, and you wanna add this guy to your balloon menu, don't forget to check out the Twister Sisters shop where you can grab the clip art for this guy and plop it onto your menu for your next gig. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you guys next week for another free balloon animal tutorial. <sighs> have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.